Hey, what's going on people, Barefox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and performance in all new Genshin Impact version 4. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to make this guide, so here I am back again with another video. Make sure to watch it till the end and don't skip out any step for better results. Also, do leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is checking up your Windows updates and for that you need to open up your settings part and then go all the way down to Windows updates and make sure that you're always up to date. Windows update help you fix all of the existing bugs which could be causing FPS loss so make sure to do it. Any pending updates possible, simply install them and restart your PC once and voila, you are there. I would like to introduce you all to Orbison Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android and iOS. Orbison Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Orison Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. And you can save up to 17 GB on your smartphone for not downloading Genshin Impact. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Orbison Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Step number 2 is also in the settings which is the essential Windows settings and for that you need to scroll all the way down to gaming part and then open up Xbox Game Bar. Then make sure to disable Xbox Game Bar since it consumes a lot of memory. Go back to gaming and then go into game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to save a lot of memory as well as it prevents those unwanted pop-ups coming up in the background whenever you're playing the games. Right beneath that you will find graphic settings. Open this thing up and then click on change default graphic settings. Make sure to enable hardware accelerator GPU scheduling as well as optimization for game mode. Both of them will help you reduce your input latency as well as improve your FPS in the long run. Now go back to graphics and right over here you will find a list of all of the applications that uses your graphic card primarily for performance. Now in here you will find Genshin Impact already added if you are on Windows 11. But if you're on Windows 10, you can definitely add it up by clicking on the browse button and then locating the installation directory. Now, I have already added Genshin Impact, so what you need to do is go to options and then select high performance for both of the launchers. Once you're done with that, close up your settings. Step number 3 is tweaking your power plan and that is really really beneficial. Simply open up control panel on your PC and then search for power options. Once you are here, you need to look for high performance. Now if you are on a PC, you need to select high performance as that will give you much better FPS but if you are on a laptop, I highly recommend you guys to go with balanced. Balanced will help you save your battery as well as prevent heating of your laptop. Next step is deanimating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations and disabling them will guarantee you best FPS. And to disable these animations, you can search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then select adjust for best performance. Then make sure to select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. This will secure your windows look but will also disable all of the unnecessary animations that can lead to FPS loss. Also go over to the advanced section and make sure that set processor scheduling to programs. For many laptop users, it could be set to background services by default. Next step is system configuration or you can also say boot configuration. And for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC and once you are here this small window will open right in front of you. Simply select boot then go to advanced options and then select the number of processors to the maximum number of processors available for you guys. Simply click on ok and apply. Doing so will utilize all of your processors since the start of your boot and will also improve your gaming's performance in the long run. Next step is defragging your disk and this will be really beneficial for your games. Simply search for defragment and optimization drives and then once you are here, select your local disk C. If it is a solid state drive, simply click on optimize and that will trim your SSD. This will be really helpful for optimizing your games. And if you are running a hard disk drive, simply select analyze 
and let it do the fragmentation of your HDD. By doing both of these steps, you will be optimizing your games it's in the description below. Okay, next step is creating a restore point and this is really really helpful. For that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once system properties opens up, select local disk C and then click on create and name it Genshin just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if anything goes wrong or you want to revert to old settings you can always do it with one single click and you do not have to reinstall your windows or prevent any data loss i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step once it is done you can simply click on close and close system properties next step is genshin impact 4.0 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can simply download and open it up and once you are here open up the first folder which is the cpu priority and in this select the cpu which you are using on your pc and for that you need to search for system information and then look for the processor over here now i am using an amd processor you could be using a different processor now i need to run the amd cpu priority but i have also left intel cpu priority right over here you can simply double click to run them and that will be optimizing your cpu for gaming now go back and open up the second folder which is the genshin impact priority and then set it to high priority or above normal priority both of them will have significant impact on game so you need to go and check it out which one gives you the best results third one is the ram optimization and i have left a ton of presets over here now you need to look up for the ram that you're using on your pc and for that you need to search for system information once again and then look for the installed physical memory over here now I am using 32 GB of RAM so I need to run the 32 GB registry but it could be different for you so you can select any one out of these presets. I have also given you reset to default so in case you don't like these you can always revert back those settings. Last one is the PC optimization and over here I have left a ton of registries as well as a batch file. Also I have left a program that I will be showing you guys. So firstly you need to run all three of these batch files as they will boost your PC's responsiveness as well as include the exclusive full screen so whenever you open up any window in full screen mode that will focus more of the computer's resources on running those applications now you also need to run the clean temporary files by running this as administrator once it opens up it will ask you a simple pop-up like this and you can simply press any key and it will start deleting unwanted and unnecessary files on your pc and don't worry this is completely safe also you need to run the unpack cpu program it is a really simple program and how you need to run it is by sliding the score packing index all the way to 100 percent and simply click on apply Windows by default has this tendency to park all of the unused cores and if these cores are parked, you won't get higher performance as promised by your processor. Also, it would be hindrance while playing the game. So sliding this all the way to 100 will enable all of your cores even when they are idle and that will give you much better quality of gaming. You can simply minimize this application whenever you're playing the game and that will do the job. Last step is finally dropping into the game and following the best in-game settings. Alright, so for the best settings, what you need to do is press your escape key and then go over to settings. Once you are here, go over to graphics and then make sure to set your graphics quality to custom and your display mode should be lower. I suggest you guys to go with 1280 by 720 windowed as this will give you the smoothest and highest FPS possible. Then for the FPS, I recommend you guys to set it to the maximum possible and for the VSync, turn this thing on. Well, in this game, turning on VSync will get you an extra FPS but if that is not the case, you can try turning it off and checking again if the FPS are better. Then for the render resolution, go with 0.8. For the shadow quality, go with the lowest. Global illumination, go with medium. Then for the visual effects, go with lowest. SFX quality, go with lowest. Environment detail and anti-aliasing, keep it on the lowest possible. This will give you the best FPS possible. Now volumetric fog and reflections, you need to keep it off as they are high FPS consumers. And then for the bloom and crowd density, keep it low. Then scroll down. And for the co-op teammate effects, keep it on. And then for the subsurface scattering, keep it medium. And anisotropic filtering, keep it 1x. That will give you the best FPS possible in game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me out a lot. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.